Before the competition, if they are to miss a clean and jerk, you should be letting everybody know that you're just going to be getting a big old fat zero. Yo, this is kind of almost a six part series. It's definitely a four part series, possibly a five if you want to throw in my video the other day, which had Colton Mertens in the thumbnail and it said that Colton Mertens had gotten screwed and then the Rogue Invitational leaderboard had a whole bunch of issues. Well, this is going to be a retraction upon that. And while Colton still may have gotten screwed, it's not really as if he got screwed because all Rogue did is everything that anybody should have ever been doing with an online competition. And I'm going to tell you what that's all about. You might remember in the first couple of videos, Videos that I'm referencing, I talked about the Masters Online semifinal qualifier directly into the CrossFit Games. The issue at hand there was there was a workout which had a series of wall balls. It was a death by wall ball work, and it was that new format which was the death by. There's never been one of those in an online competition before, and the issue was that while viewing a handful of those athletes, namely Tommy Tillman, because I'm not going to let that one go, he got 74 repetitions, which was far and above a handful of the other athletes. It was also seen on video that a handful of his wall ball repetitions repetitions were not the depth and that he missed the target on a handful of his repetitions. And that one was not good either. Down to singles on the wall ball. That one, the squat depth was also lacking. He didn't hit it over the target either. He's doing squat clean, clean singles. That one, not good either. Uh, it's just not, oh, it's so not good. And this is, oh, geez. That one he got over. All right, that was an entirely good rep right there. So we know that at this point in the workout, he has the ability. That was two consecutive good reps. Target here, 65 plus 10 foot target for the men. As you see Tillman out there on your right. Tommy Tillman trying to make a move, sitting in lane number 19 on CrossFit Perimeter in Sandy Springs, Georgia. And you look across at the black t-shirt. And in a death by workout, if you don't do the number of repetitions to get to the next round, how can you be continuing to accumulate reps in those aforementioned rounds? There's a couple of other people, but the entire reason I made the first video was because there was an individual who reached out to me talking about the athlete in 11th place. That was Steve Mann, and that Steve Mann had a likely chance at coming on into the 10th place spot if the leaderboard would have been filtered properly. And by filtered properly, I meant likely stopping everybody in the first round of the death by workout. And I make these videos and I hope that somebody hears them. Well, it appears as if Rogue maybe possibly heard what I was trying to say in that video and it's at the expense of Colton Mertens. We all love Colton Mertens. I fucking love Colton Mertens. I've got the shirt. I should have put it on for this video. The little pig snout deal. I've actually competed against Colton Mertens at the regional level. We know that he's a fucking monster. We mo know that he moves well. We know that he destroys online competitions. And I thought that it was really weird that he had fallen out of the leaderboard because on the third workout at the Rogue Invitational, he was given a zero. And that workout was as follows. In a 15 minute window, complete 15 clean and jerks, 12 clean and jerks, nine clean and jerks, and six clean and jerks. Colton Mertens is a male who was completing the male weights, and those were 155, 185, 225, and 245. After you go 15, 12, 9, 6, you have an AMRAP of clean and jerks at 265 within that 15 minute window, and you've got to complete seven toes to bar at the top of every single minute. On this workout, we see that Colton had his score removed, and I reached out to him and I asked why his score had gotten removed. Miscounted did 14 reps on the first barbell for the clean and jerk ladder was supposed to do 15. And then I asked if they had taken the whole score down. Yeah, the whole score on the workout came from how many reps you got on the final bar, and I didn't complete the prerequisite work to get there, and I think that that's why. I go directly to what I'm talking about right here, which was that death by wall ball workout. I asked him if I could make a video on it. He said, yeah, sure. And he says that it sucks and that they probably shouldn't be having workouts like this if the penalties are going to be as extreme. And I agree with that. I actually just finished up a huge training think tank podcast, YouTube podcast, where they're all talking on camera. I'm going to make another video on that because it deserves its own video. But within it, they mention a couple of things as you should shouldn't be putting certain workouts in certain formats, whether they be at a live competition, whether they be at the online level of the competition. And this is a perfect example. This workout is fucking retarded to have on the online competition. While it's a very cool workout, something as easily as missing one of those repetitions, keeping Colton Mertens out of the competition is ridiculous. And while it's entirely correct that they should have stopped him right there, they shouldn't have been putting him in this position in the first place. Anybody can look at the thing and they can say, yeah, he could have done the additional rep at 155 and like maybe subtracted a rep or something but the only thing that makes sense is to stop him right there and not give him a score because he technically did not get to the 265 barbell we talked about that with the bike ride at the crossfit games if you don't finish the workout you shouldn't get a score you shouldn't be kicked
kicked out of the competition, but you shouldn't get a score. You didn't finish the workout. And that was the big thing that I tried to bring up at the beginning of this video, which was that in the semifinals for the Masters athletes, direct qualifier to the CrossFit Games, they should have been stopping everybody at that first window because they didn't do the right number of repetitions to get into the next round and certainly not having some of the top scores. I talked about how it was probably the ultimate downfall at the level of the CrossFit Games, but it is cool to see that there are other organizations, that being Rogue, who are doing the entire right thing. While the workout probably shouldn't be there at all, in my opinion, I think that while they did put it in there, they did the next best thing, which is they had the workout filtered the entirely correct way. I'm going to keep this video a little bit shorter. I'm just going to say CrossFit Inc. Take some freaking notes. This year, this is exactly how you should be doing this sort of stuff. Whoever works over at Rogue, maybe you should reach out to them and ask them for a little bit of help. Or maybe like maybe Rogue did, check out a couple of my YouTube videos and say, okay, let's see what this guy has to say about some of this stuff. How do you guys feel? about it. I think that there's only good things to say about what Rogue did here. And the only negative is, is that maybe they shouldn't be putting the athletes in a position to make as big of a mistake as they did here and as CrossFit did at the semifinal level. Just don't put death by workouts into these sort of formats. And also before the competition, if they are to miss a clean and jerk, you should be letting everybody know that you're just going to be getting a big old fat zero. Same thing goes at the CrossFit level. If they're going to have a death by workout, let's say that you don't complete the wall belt repetitions the way that you should be doing them and you get no reps, then you should have no business going on to the ensuing rounds. Andrew Hiller out.